Welcome, ghouls, ghosts, and mere mortals, to Halloween night at the Hidden Creek Manor. Uh, if I'm a little bit sweaty or seem a little bit out of breath, it's because we're getting everything ready. Uh, I've got about an hour before the trick-or-treaters show up. Uh, I spent about the last hour uh, getting things prepped, making sure the fog machine is working, all the lights are set up properly, and all the uh, decorations are in proper working order. Uh, every year this happens. We set everything up, you know, about a month before Halloween, and then <laughs> the elements happen, you know, wind and rain and everything in between. Uh, so, you know, stuff gets damaged and, you know, it's to be expected. And, you know, for this year, nothing too terrible. I'm actually pretty, pretty pleased. Our headless horseman, uh, the eyes aren't lighting up on the skull. He's still talking, and it's not moving. He's still talking though. So I'm not sure what's happening with that. Um, I think I had one other animatronic. That's oh, got a small issue, but you know, it's kind of par for the course at this point. But it seems like every Halloween, something happens. There's some little thing that just messes up our display. And um, this year, not too bad, but I'll show you what it is. Wind, wind. We've got a lot of wind today. Right now, it's not too bad. It's just kind of barely going, but it's been a lot of wind today. And wind is not a friend of smoke or fog. And, you know, I put a lot of work into the fog machine, so hopefully the wind dies down. But uh, I'm gonna wrap up this intro and get to decorating and finishing everything up. And then, you know, once the festivities begin, we'll start things back up again. We'll do one final tour of each of the different sections of the haunt. And then we'll wrap up the holiday season or the Halloween season that is. So, let's get to Halloween. guys i decided to take a different approach for this video i normally like to get excited and show you all the cool stuff and do all the walkthroughs and the music and everything 
and and we did that. Yeah, you guys just saw that little uh, video of Halloween night, and that was really all the footage we had uh, from Halloween night. So I decided to make this a little bit different, uh, more of a little sit down um, story time with Michael, fireside chats or cobblestone side chat. Um, so uh, yeah, so Halloween night. So. I was not at the manor as much this year as I normally am. Uh, the lady at the manor and I kind of split things up typically. Uh, so she'll take the kids trick-or-treating while I am here handing out candy and maintaining the, the decorations. And then we might switch. And, uh, you know, we've always done that. Just kind of make sure that we both get to experience trick-or-treating with the kids. Um, and also both get to experience you know, handing out candy and being here at the manor and seeing the excitement of, of, of the trick-or-treaters. Uh, this year, I spent more time uh, away from the manor, and the lady of the manor spent more time here. And because we were kind of split, uh, we didn't have time to film. <laughs> you know, I was out trick-or-treating with the kids. She was here candy out candy. There were times where she had lines of people. Just, you know, she didn't have time. Yeah, so the footage that you guys already saw of Halloween night, uh, yeah, that's it. So, like I said, story time with Michael. I'll tell you guys about it. Uh, and it was successful. It was a really good Halloween. And there are a lot of kids, of course, and a lot of adults and uh, people enjoyed the decorations. It's, it's always cool, too, to hear people come back and they're like, oh, you added this or you changed that. You know, they, they, they really get into it and they want to see uh, the changes to the decorations. And that's really, you know, that helps us. That really pushes us. To be honest, guys, <laughs> I was getting kind of burnt out. You know, it's it's a lot. And, you know, it, it's my fault that I'm burnt out. And I realize that we, I think we spread ourselves too thin this season. We waited till August uh, to really get started. And we had a lot of projects, big projects. Uh, we don't really take on this much at once. So, you know, we've got all these Halloween projects to get ready for the haunts. Um, you know, we're, we both work full-time jobs during the day. So, you know, we, we work. And then, you know, we've got two school-age kids, and then they have after-school activities, and any parent knows that's enough already. You know, trying to figure out who's going to take the kid to, you know, dance or to robotics and this and that. Add on decorations and maintaining a YouTube channel and making videos. You know, like I said, it was it was, it was, it was our own doing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like I said, it was just kind of kind of got that Halloween hangover, and... and any other haunters that are watching this video, you guys know what I'm talking about, where it's like the build up, the build up, the build up. And then after Halloween, it's just like, like now what, you know? And yeah, actually like right now I'm filming this video. Um, this is Sunday. I'm probably going to release this video today. I even put something on YouTube yesterday telling you guys that I'm running behind on the video. I haven't had time. Um, I'm actually tearing down decorations and I just took a little break to, to finally get around to making this video. Uh, so yeah, it was just a lot and, uh, we had so much going on. It was just, yeah, a, a lot, like I said, and, and that's not to say that, you know, we're going to stop doing this. <laughs> we kind of, there's this kind of cycle that I go through at least. I don't know if other haunters do this where, you know, it's by the end of the season, you're burnt out, you're tired. It's just, you want to break. And then as the year goes on, that excitement builds back up again. And then, you know, six months later, you're ready to go. Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting the same uh, again here. So, you know, this is not the end. This is just me letting you guys. This is this is me being me. Just telling you guys, giving you a peek behind the curtain to see what it's like to be a, a haunter. Um, and right now, like just just taking this little bit of time to tell you guys about Halloween nights and about you know kind of what goes on behind the scenes. Um, I'm taking away from the teardown, and I have to get everything taken care of this weekend because next weekend we're out of town all week we have activities and this is a busy time for both uh, me and the lady of the manor with our jobs uh we both have to travel sometimes for work and it's yeah it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot but we love it and that's where i really want to focus is you know we love doing this it's a, it's a lot we put ourselves into the situation because we enjoy doing it i love making this youtube channel i love making these videos I get to combine two of my passions, so, you know, decorating and video, making videos and content. But it's me. It's all me. I don't have a team. I don't have an editor and a colorist and someone to do sound. I'm doing all this, so it's a lot. Yeah, so we're at the end of the season. I'm tired. And I'm going to take a break. 
I'm still gonna make videos, um, but you know, it's it's time to take a little bit of a break, and rightfully so. Holidays are over, or at least Halloween's over, and now we can take a quick break until Thanksgiving, and then switch our focus to Christmas. So you know, stick around because we'll be making Christmas videos. Now, something else I like to do at the end of each holiday season is just kind of take inventory of maybe what worked, what didn't work, uh, what the crowds enjoyed, or you know, what we enjoyed at, as, as well uh, here at the manor. And I think we're going to maybe not get so ambitious uh, in the next few years. We built the cemetery fence this year. Uh, we built the Kraken. Uh, we did the steering ship this year. We bought a ton of new animatronics. Uh, it was just a lot. Yeah, we got too uh, ambitious. One thing that you guys didn't get to see, I'm telling you now, um, surprise, surprise, our original plan for this year was to build a witch's hut. It was actually the Lady of the Manor, uh, which is, normally I'm the one that comes up with these harebrained schemes and then she just kind of goes along with it. But this time, she was the one uh, that wanted to build a witch's hut. So, you know, if she wants to do something, I'm on board. And, you know, we bought the, we bought wood. We got a bunch of free pallets. It's in our yard right now. It's been there since the end of August. I'm sure our neighbors love that. But, uh, yeah, we didn't get around to it, you know. So I'm thinking instead of waiting, especially on these larger projects, I'm going to try to work on more of the larger projects throughout the year. So that way, come Halloween time, we can focus on decorating and maybe you know, making some small adjustments. So... You might see more videos throughout the year of some of these larger items. Maybe you'll get a series of videos where I build the witch's hut in March. Who knows? So, yeah. First off, I'm going to not wait and not get so ambitious uh, for next year. I think something else I want to do is maybe kind of reevaluate the projection show. Uh, I love the projection show. That's my... I bet you, I, yeah. That's my baby. <laughs> and... I haven't really put, I didn't put anything into it this year. You know, I just kind of stuck with what worked before. And I think that got kind of stale. I didn't have as big of a crowd watching the shows. And even the crowds that did watch the show, I don't, I mean, sometimes they would just watch a few minutes and walk away. And I think that's because it wasn't new. You know, it was still the same. So I need to refresh the show uh, with the projection and figure out how we're going to do that. Uh, something else I didn't even tell you guys about is, you know, I, I made a video about this last year where we had two projectors one of my projectors quit working, so this year I had to go back to one projector, which, yeah, I think that also kind of took away from my excitement on the projector show. I would like to invest in a really nice projector, uh, but they're very expensive. And, you know, this is not a for-profit thing. This is something that we do for fun. Uh, but I think that's part of my limitations at this point, because I don't have a projector powerful enough uh, to do some of the things that I want to do. So, yeah, I need to reevaluate the projection show. All right, guys. Well, I think this is a good time to go ahead and wrap up this chat. But I did want to tell you guys about one other cool thing. Uh, a good friend of mine, he's also a fellow haunter, Kyle Lewis. Uh, he's worked in the film and television industry for years. He was he did props, he did designs. I mean, you know, he's a haunter. He does he does this. You know, he knows how to build these things. He's made some really cool stuff. Last year, he made some really cool like UFOs uh, that he had in his haunt, and uh, he came over to the haunt and made a little video talking about it. So yeah, I'll let you guys watch this quick video from Kyle, uh, just so you can hear somebody else's perspective of our haunts. And then uh, we'll go ahead and wrap things up. So yeah, go ahead, Kyle. Hey there, everybody. I just wanted to uh, say that I got to see the Hidden Creek Manor in person last night, and it was excellent. I wanted to just say that I highly enjoyed the Headless Horseman, one of my favorites. And uh, the handmade columns are, are magnificent. So, yeah, if you ever get a chance to see it, it's well worth it. And uh, had a good time. And uh, peace out from the dude. All right, guys. Well, I really need to get back to work. It's starting to get dark. And I have a lot to do. I'm not going to finish today. I'm going to have to... I'm just going to have to... Whenever I get off work each evening... Uh, tear down a little bit every day, I guess. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go and wrap things up. I don't even have time to do the outro. So here are a few friends that were here on Halloween that agreed to end the video for us. So take it away, ladies. Happy hunting! And we'll see you in the next one. And you must watch two of these two videos.